Welcome guys to Engineer Tina Academy. It's your guy. We are back again. And today I want us to look at how to take off quantities of a roof. You know, sometimes you are in the field and you wonder, how do I get to know the length of timber that I need, the length of timber that I need for my rafters, for my tie beams, for the struts, if you want to do the cutting and and so on so so today we're going to look at taking off quantities of our roof structure and we are going to take to look at part a of it whereby we are going to take off the roof construction part that is the wall plate the rafters the tie beams the main beams and then we are going to look at the binder and the reed board yeah the the construction part of it and then later at part b we look at the roof covering and then we'll do the rainwater goods so stay tuned if you have not subscribed kindly touch that subscription button and thank you very much guys for your support now let's straight without wasting time jump to our video so guys we are going to look at the plan of the roof as you can see we have our roof here yeah we have the roof here we have been given the the measurement we have been told from this point here up to this point here is, is 12600 that is the length these these dot dotted lines that you are seeing here these are the these are the wall so meaning this is inside here is where we have our structure so this is the walls here and then we have a projection here from this point up to this point it's projecting outside by 400 and then on the length we have 7000 here and then we have the wall thickness 200 and then we have 550 for the eaves on both sides and then we have trusses we've been told we have trusses at 1800 millimeters center to center and then we have 150 millimeters common rafters at 600 millimeters center to center and then we have the rainwater goods pipe on both sides so that is our plan it's as simple so let's look at the let's go to the to the section that we have our section So that is our section here. We have our section here. So this is what we have for the section. We have, we start from the top. We have the the tiles for 20 by 3, 30 millimeters. Mareb single up tiles, 150 by 50 millimeters common rafters and, sorry, truss rafters and common rafters. And then, we have we have the 440 by 50 50 by 40 millimeters button here and then we have the 50 500 gauge polythene underlay on chicken wear we have 750 millimeters lap we have the 200 millimeters round ridge cover and then let's look at the inner members that we have we have this member here this member here is our is our 150 by 50 trust rafter and the common rafter this is our rafter here and then if you look at this member here that is our wall plate sorry that is our main tie 150 by 50 millimeters main main tie and then we have the ties and struts this is a tie this one here is a tie and then this one here is a is a strut this is 100 by 50 millimeters ties and struts and then we have our wall plate here we have our wall plate here 100 by 50 millimeters wall plate and then we have 50 by 50 run at this one and then we have our bearer this is our bearer here that is our bearer 50 by 50 millimeters bearer at 600 center to center and then we have 200 by 50 by 25 millimeter fascia board this is our fascia board here and then we have 200 millimeter stick wall we have our wall here and then we have 25 millimeter t and g soft fit boards this is our soft fit board here and then we have 100 millimeters gutter we have our gutter there going down to the rainwater pipe and then we have 50 by 100 50 
150 by 50 millimeters binder we have our binder there and then what else have we not mentioned i think we have mentioned everything so that is how our roof looks like so we go to what we are going to take off so we are going to do this roof taking off in parts so that we can do the first one the the first part the second and the third as we go to the to the end so what we are going to take off items in this part one we are going to look at roof construction that is the wall plate the rafters the tiles the ridge board and the and the binders that is for part one so let's start with the wall plate this is our wall plate here our wall plate is an horizontal member that is that is placed on top of the wall so that it can be able to support the the trusses so our wall plate takes the takes the measurement of the wall that is from this place here that is from this place up to that point that is where we have our wall plate that along that point this one now the wall plate is going to project inside the wall by 100 so from here we take 100 and then from here we also take 100 so that is where we are going to have our wall plate for both for the for this this side and there and the and this side so it's we take the length and then we add the projection that is two to 100 what do we get so that is 12 600 plus 200 12 600 plus 200 that gives us 12 800 remember there are two so from this if you can look at this small drawing here this one here so this is our, our wall plate there so that is our, our wall plate at that point so there are two we are going to say 100 by 50 millimeters treated cypress wall plate so the the, the measurement is 12 800 then you multiply by by two let's look at the trusses let's look at the trusses now the trusses is this whole component here this whole component here is what we call a truss and it has if you can look at this one it has a raptor this is the raptor here let me point it this one here this one is a raptor and then this one is the main tie beam this is a a, a, a tie and then this is a, a strut so those are these all components here they form what you call the the trusses now let's start by getting the number of the trusses how many are they so the trusses they they go up to the wall from this point up to this point from from the the entire length of the of the wall horizontally so we are going to take from this point up to that point that is 12 12 600 yeah here, here from this point here 12 600 and then we are told they are at they are at what they are at 1800 millimeter center to center so we want to know from we want to know how many do we have from here from here up to he yes from here up to here from here up to here how many do we have along along the width how many so we take the length and then we divide by the the spacing that is 1800 and then we add we add one for us to be able to get how many are running along the along the width so it will be 12 600 divided by 1800 sorry this is 1800 divided by 1800 and then we add one those are nine so we have these components here this member here the whole of it comprising with the trust and the struts the ties and the struts we have eight of them so we provide eight number trusses of effective span 3.0 meters above the ground level 
So we have eight of them. So let's look at the rafters. Let's look at the rafters. Now the rafter, we are going to need the span. We are going to need the, the weed eats. That is what we are going to use. So the rafter, this one here. So we are going to take the weed eat, that one from that point up to that point. And then we add the wall to 200. And then we add the, and then we add the eaves. What do we get? And then we add the eaves. So we have two two hundred, and then we have two five hundred for the eaves. That gives us eight thousand five hundred. And then if you look at our drawing here, we have the fascia board here. So we are going to subtract the fascia board and then we also subtract the, the gather here, the fascia board here and the gather. So the fascia board is 25 and then the gather is 100. So we subtract that. We are left with 8,250. Now we divide by two, that gives us 41, 200. Now, if you look at the drawing, if you look at our plan, our section, so this is where we are now. So we have this one. This this is where we are. So we are, we want to find the the rafters. So we want to find this length here. This hypotenuse here is what you are looking at. So I've done a small sketch here. So from this point here is the half of it is twelve forty one twenty five. So let's find the hypotenuse. Yeah, we are at this point. So we want to find this rafter. Yeah, we want to find this rafter. And then, so we have a half of it, a half of it. That is that one. That is 41.25. And then we, we were told here is 30 degrees. So we have now this whole section here. This is what I've, I've drafted down here. Now we have we have to find x. So x will be cos 30. That is adjacent over hypotenuse. That is adjacent over hypotenuse. That is cos 30. So x will be 425, 41.25, 41.25 over cos 30. That is that will give us 7,000, 4,763 millimeters. 0.14 millimeters. No, now that is our our x. So that is the length of our our rafter. So this rafter there are two. This one and this one. So we have two of them. And how many trusses do we have? Eight. Each trusses each truss has a rafter. So we book 4.76 by two and then by by eight. That is the number of the number of the of the trusses and then we say 150 by 50 millimeters treated cypress raft, principal rafter so that is the principal rafter remember we have two rafters the principal and the common the common rafter now we go to the main tie beam let's look at the tie beam yes this is our tie beam here this one here is our tie beam this one is our tie beam and it is 150 by 50 millimeters tie beam so let's find the length of that that tie beam if you can look at the tie beam you are going to take the length of the the length and then we are going to add the wall and then we are going to add the thickness of the rafter because the, our tie beam is going is 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 going up to the outside here so we are going to add the thickness so we are going to add the length and then we add the wall and then we add the rafter for us to get the length of that member that is the the main tie beam 
So what do we have? We have 7,000 plus the wall, that is 400, plus the rafter, that is 150, that gives us 7,700. So how many do we have? We also have eight because we have eight trusses. So 7.70 .70 by eight. Let's go to the ties and struts. We are going to use this one here. So this is what we have. 7,000 is from this point up to this point. Then, sorry, 7,000 is the entire span from here up to here, excluding the walls, that is 7,000. And then we divide by two, that gives us 3,500. And now we had the, we had the wall. Yeah, so we are up to this point. So we are up to there. So from here up to here is that seven, is that 700. So this is what you have. Remember here is 30 degrees, here is 30 degrees and here is 90, here is 90 degrees. Now, let's look at, let's find C. From this point up to this point is where we have our C. So we are going to use the, the bigger triangle, that one, to find C. So C will be, will be opposite to the adjacent adjacent of hypotenuse that is what is going to give us c so our c will be that 700 cos 30 that will give us 42 72 and then we divide by two for us to be able to get c1 and c1 so c1 will be 21 36 millimeters now that is our C1. We have our C1. Take note on that. Now, I want us to transfer that one here. So, our C is 21, 36. We have that. Now, let's look at, let's look for A. A now is our, our tie here. Let's look for A. A will be opposite. A will be opposite over a will be tan theta, that is tan theta, because we have the 21 opposite of adjacent. Now, this is our opposite, and then we are looking for adjacent. So, tan theta, that is A over 21, 36. So, our A is going to be 21, 36 times tan theta, that gives us 12, 33 millimeters. So, our A here is 12. 33 three millimeters. So let's go to, to finding B. B is here now. B is here. So we are going to take this part here. That one is what I've brought down here. So we have 90 degrees here. C, here is, we have C1. That was 21, 3. 36 that is what i've placed here 21 36 and then we have 30 and then we are going to look for b so b that will be adjacent over the hypotenuse so that gives us cos cos theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse that is 21 36 over b so b will be 21 36 over cos 30 that is going to give us 24 66 millimeters now this is our our tie and this is our strat. So we are going to book them. So we have 1.2, 1.23 for the tie times two because they are two. They are two. That one is. They are two. This one and this one. That is what forms are are uh, uh, one truss. And then how many trusses do we have? Eight. And then for the strat, we have 2.47 by 2 and then by 8. And then we are going to say 100 by 50 millimeters treated separate tie and strat respectively. And then that gives us the end of the eight number trusses. So up to that point, we'll have booked the eight trusses. Now we go to the common rafter. We had a common rafter, this one here. We had a common rafter here. We are told 150 by 50 millimeters common rafter at 600 millimeters center to center. Now, bear in mind that we already have the principal rafters. So whatever we have for the common rafter, we are going to subtract the principal, principal rafters. So let's look at that. The common rafters that we have. So they are... 
The length is 12, 600. The spacing is 600. We add one, we get 22, and then we subtract the, the principal rafters, which were eight. That gives us 16. And then they, they share the same length as the, the principal rafter, that is 4.67 by two. They're also two, and then we multiply by 16. Let's go to the binders and the ridge board. The length is 12, 600. This is our binder here. The one that is supporting the the one that is supporting the, the the beam down here. This is our binder. That member down there. So the binder, we also take the length, the length, and then we add the wall. Because for our binder, it's going to be this length here. And then we add the wall because 200 and then we add the the projection that is 400 so from this point up to this point is where we have our binder so when we had that what do we get the the projection that is 2400, 13800, and then we lost the fascia board because we have covered up to the fascia board. We need to leave space for the fascia board. That is 225, that is we lost 50. We are left with 13750. So 13750, there are two. We multiply by two, and then we say 150 by 50 millimeters treated Cypress binder. So the same length for the binder is also the same length for the, for the ridge board. We have our ridge board up here that member that is that is filling the gap between the two the two rafters this rafter and this rafter where they meet there we have a ridge board there so we are going to say 175 by 25 millimeters treated cypress ridge board so up to that point we have covered a few elements so on our next video we are going to look at the the remaining elements